Hi guys, gentlemen Jim Taylor back wearing my summer shirt again for the very last time. I was gonna ask, where's the vest? <laughs> hey, it, it'll be here. It this hurt. is my time of year. <laughs> but that's a good color on you. Yeah. Well, did you have a good birthday? I did, I did. And I wanna thank all of you guys who wished me a happy birthday. If I didn't respond back to you, it's not that I was not thinking and appreciative of my birthday greetings. It's just that, you know, you get bogged down doing things and sometimes you just can't respond back to everybody. So if I miss you, I'm totally, totally apologetic. I love you guys. You guys are what make Victoria and I go. That's right. It, you guys make it worthwhile. Yeah. And yeah. I'm Victoria Baylor, dressmaker. Didn't introduce myself. Mm -hmm. Welcome. If you were new, you found yourself in a new episode of the Taylor and the Dressmaker Show. Mm -hmm. It's a weekly sewing show. We, myself, a professional dressmaker, and Master Taylor, Gentleman Jim, get together to discuss all things sewing, essentially. Well, this week, we're going to discuss a really cool topic. Uh, we kind of dabble in it from time to time. It's, to me, the, one of the most important topics right up there with just having the skill to sew. But let's talk about sewing time management. Because you can have the skill, but if you don't have time to sew, or you don't use your time That's wisely, true. You really don't. then you're not going to really get anywhere. You, you don't. You don't. You know, when we talk about all the, we talk about all the things, well, the time management is a very crucial and very key part of sewing, period whether you do it professionally, like you say, That's right. or whether you just do it for yourself. That's because right. if you do it professionally, you've got a deadline you need to meet. That's right. If you do it for yourself, you got your own deadline because it interferes with other things that you're doing. That's so. right. We're, none of us lead one-dimensional lives, and no. that's just the thing. Mm -hmm. You're into a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. I'm into a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. and truth be told, if you're really going to advance in your skill, you mm -hmm. have to be able to put the time in. Mm -hmm. And one thing about sewing is that it requires a lot of time, essentially, to actually do things. I mean, you know, I know people paint and do clay and do other things, but, you know, let's talk about when you put shirts together, you know, you might talk about a couple hours and you're making a skirt. I mean, those time blocks add mm -hmm. up. So, how does one really get a good hold of their time? It's the fall. We're how trying. Do how do we do that? Oh. One of the, one a curse word to most people. I joke with my masterminding group. One of my favorite words is discipline. Mm -hmm. But the truth be told is, without discipline, you really can't keep things into shape. And a lot of people don't like that word, especially if you're a very fun kind of person. My husband is actually the, the anti my antithesis. He's the opposite of me. He is like more of the fun related kind of guy and I'm more structured. So we kind of balance each other. But long story short, it takes discipline and it takes focus. So we're going to go through a list of things to kind of give you some tidbits on how to be better with your time management. And we'll just comment on each. The first thing is you want to prioritize. Right. So the thing is this, we all have 24 hours a day. Have you ever seen those people that can use it like exceptionally well? They have no more extra time than you. You Multitasking is a lie, look it up. It's hard to do all these things at one time. What sure you wanna is. do is, and you can't possibly do it all, so you have to prioritize. Right. You gotta right. choose what's important to your life, right? right? On my way coming in, um, I have a project that I'm getting ready to work on, and I had to prioritize. I had to say, okay, I have some things that weren't necessarily pending. I pushed them over to the side. I had some things that were coming up. I pushed them because I have a project. Mm -hmm. I decided how long it's going to take me to fulfill this project. So everything else, I'm not thinking about anything right now except this one project. Yeah. Absolutely. I have a, a similar type project, and my weekend has already been designated. There's been mm -hmm. block time for that particular project because it is a priority. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the thing is priorities change, uh, but you have to decide what's important to you. Nobody can do that for you. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be really good at sewing, which I know is Mr. Jim, who's devoted 50 plus years into the game, and I've devoted over a decade into it. I know when I first started, my first thing was, I will move everything off the table. Sewing has to be the main focus. Sure. Because sure. if you don't make a focus on something, how can you actually achieve at it? So that brings on the second thing, focus. What does that really mean to the sewer? Focus. It means interruptions that you could avoid because you're not focused. It means, hmm, I think I'll take me a little break, okay? Every time you do something outside of the realm of what you are supposed to be doing, it doesn't sound like much. 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there, 
Before you know it, you've eliminated an hour, see, out of your timeline. That's right. And then it becomes 15 more minutes here, 10 minutes over here, and that all comes out of what? Your timeline. Because you're not focused. That's right. And with focus, you just want to maintain your your thoughts, your sights, your mm -hmm. goals onto mm -hmm. one objective, two objectives, whatever it is. And in sewing, you have to decide what that is. Like for us this weekend, we have very big project we're tackling. Mm -hmm. That is our focus. We have time blocked out. That's another pointer. You always want to block a sufficient amount of time to do what you need to do. And sewing, sometimes it's not very helpful to do these one hour here, one hour there, unless no. that's all you have. Yeah. Sometimes it's more productive to schedule two or three time yeah. You know, two or three hour time blocks because you get more done versus stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Now, you know, you talk about a time block, and this is one of the reasons why when we first started this whole series, I talked about how much time does it take you to do something? Because that's, so that's really the only way you can set up your time block. That's true, too. How long does it take you? Awareness. All right. And that's why I said why the fundamentals are so important. Because if you got to keep stopping, if you say, okay, I'm going to two hours to do whatever project it is, three hours, whatever time block you put on it. But then you turn around and you spend half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour redoing something. Yikes. That messes up your whole time block. That's why I say it takes the same amount of time to do it correctly as it takes to do it incorrectly. So make sure your skills are up to where you don't have to keep redoing it because when I say I'm going to take three hours to do something, I do it within three, most of the time less. But I say, okay, I'm going to allow for a small margin of error. And I do mean a small margin because I'm human like the rest of you. Sometimes I run over, I got to, but, but I'm not, I'm going to, trust me when I tell you, I ain't picking out but a little bit. It ain't a whole lot, see. But all that comes into my time block. And that also goes back to something we did in the earlier show where you want to create fail safes mm -hmm. in your sewing. Mm -hmm. So say for instance, you don't feel very comfortable putting an invisible zipper without basing or you put it in straight mm -hmm. in and then you something happens and your line is thrown off. Well, just base a doggone thing in. That's right. Anything that will keep you being progressive you means you don't have to revert back and correct mm -hmm. anything. Do those things. I have no problem. I do a lot of hand sewing sometimes. I do a lot oh, yeah. of, oftentimes, yeah. I'll pin things into place just to make sure it's perfect so I can do one, yeah. you know, one yeah. time over. So yeah. that's important. And that brings up another topic, planning. Mm -hmm. If you are going to have a block of time, you want to make sure, you, like Mr. Jim said, you know exactly mm -hmm. what you want to accomplish. But at the same time, when, before you execute, make sure you have everything. Yeah. I can't tell, you're so right. Every time you get up, oh my God, okay. we're going to do a show on organizing your sewing studio. My sewing studio, just like Mr. Jim, is strategically organized where things are within hand's reach. Mm -hmm. I actually have a hand basket that has all my main accoutrements. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. Before I start a project, I make sure everything is mm -hmm. gathered. I even create a list because I know how crazy my brain is sure. sometimes yeah. that I will do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you're one of those weird people that have to look at the guide sheet every five seconds, well, go in, read through, make a streamlined mm -hmm. secondary mm -hmm. list, and then mm -hmm. that way just work through it. But interruptions add up. Sure. They really do. And we talk about guide sheets, as you just said. I, all, I teach all my students the exact same thing. In sewing, I don't care whether it's top, bottom, this, that, and the other. There's really only so many essential parts of a garment. That's true. A right side, a left side, a right front and back, a left front and back. So I don't care what you put together, you've got to put those together. Now, if you got to look at a guide sheet that says put right front to right back, and you got to put it down and you got to, what's next? Then you got to look at the sheet again and say, oh, left back to left front together, these things become automatic. It's That's always right. right side, left side, front and back. I don't care what you make. You're I absolutely you right. Make. If it's rudimentary instructions, you're absolutely right. Take the time. If you're a newbie sewer, we can understand maybe the dependence. Mm -hmm. But if you've been sewing, you're intermediate professional. Yeah, you should. Now I'm working on a dress. My God, it's like a puzzle map. I don't even know what it is. Mm -hmm. I have to read each step because it is crazy. It's like 50 darts. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even look like a dress in okay, pattern form until I put it together. Yeah. But you're absolutely right. We know things are attached to the shoulder. They're attached to the side seam. Mm -hmm. Understand how your lining goes together. Go ahead and assemble all your lining pieces there first. You go. Mr. Jim teaches that in his coat courses. Have everything already pre-assembled before you add. Yeah. A lot yeah. of things that will help you progress and a lot remember, faster. Yeah. Nowhere, like you said, 
know what is needed for this garment. If you know you need a zipper, whatever length you need, you can't at that point get to that, I mean, get to that point and start looking for the zipper in the right color, no. in the right size. All of that should be where you can get to it. Absolutely. You know, oh, I got to go to the store buy a zipper. That's but you knew when you made the garment you needed one. Or at least you should have. It will, it, again, trust me, that, and again, that's a time management conversation. I mean, even mm -hmm. in my sewing studio, I keep, you know, those plastic dish pans? I actually keep a dish pan, because I have shelving, for every single project. Yeah. Patterns, notions, everything go in one spot. Yeah, one when I yeah. work with the client, I pull it out, I move everything around, I put it back in. Therefore, I'm not driving myself crazy. It all adds yeah. up. Yeah. Um, one thing we were both joking about before was you want to limit your interruptions. Oh. And this isn't just so much not being organized or being disorganized. This is, these are the things that happen. You got kids. My daughter knows when I'm in the sewing studio. Yeah. Don't come knocking. Ask your father. Go get a snack. You know, we'll make sure we have everything set up before. Yeah. But even little things like telephone calls. Ring, ring, ring. Stop answering the phone. You're not Stop die. answering the phone. You won't. I, I promise Before you. we had the convenience of these multiple phones and whatnot, you didn't stop. You went straight through whatever you were doing there. Because most of the time, now if you're in business for yourself and it is a client, yeah. guess what happens? When it rings through, it goes into voicemail. Because you're busy. Yeah. Let it go into voicemail and call them back. But you'll stop and then the conversation always starts out with one point and shift to another. Now you're going to waste some more time. If you're going to talk on the phone, have a phone nearby. I always, as a courtesy, will say I'll just give people five minutes just because, especially if it's like a new client or something, mm -hmm. I'll pick up. But if, it's, if, if I'm in the middle of cutting something out, I mean, just don't be... Be mindful of your interruptions. Right. I think there's a study, I did a, a presentation when I did research years ago. There's a study that says it takes a full like 11 or 12 minutes just to get back to your task after an interruption. Mm -hmm. So you're so thrown off sometimes. Believe it or not, all those interruption time frames yeah. just start to add up. Limit your interruption, that's where focus comes yeah. in. You yeah. will be doing yourself a favor, trust mm -hmm. me. Um, we just, let's see, Plan oh, another one that's really important and we'll go ahead and close with this one. So at your best time. People don't realize this. Yeah. There, you do have a best time. Uh -huh. Figure out what it is for yourself and do most of your sewing then. During that time. You can sew outside of your best time, but make sure it's not anything super complex. I am an early bird. I can get up five in the morning. I probably could push it to like four in the morning. I am fresh. I am excited. Mm -hmm. I would love to, I used to sew actually then during those time frames when everybody was asleep, but I won't do my hardest work late at night. I'm not a night owl. Although I've been pushing one or two in the morning, but then I'm more bound to make mistakes if yeah, I do yeah, that. Your body is, yeah. is tense from the whole day's activity. It's tired and you Brain get into a down. project. <laughs> oh boy, when you're fresh is the best time. And, I, and I, I'm not an early person, so I can sew. I really kind of can sew any time because I, I've been doing this so long. But there's still times when I don't want to sew. Yeah. I don't Right. Just, just know you. So I have a friend. Uh, we used to stay with. She was so her so start time was like two a.m. Yeah, she yeah, loved I didn't it. Say that. Yeah, yeah. She was a night owl, and you know, again, I agree with you. I can sew any time, but I know when it requires serious focus, mm -hmm. or if it's something that's very important, like cutting out stuff, marking stuff. There's no phone, no interruptions, and I'm doing it at a time where I know my mind is not distracted. Right. And then another tip. This is just a side note. I just thought about if distractions happen. Thoughts happen. I'm thinking yeah. all day. Keep a notepad right next to you. Because don't stop and do something. Just be like, oh, okay, I forgot to pay the cable bill. <laughs> pay cable. I always keep a list mm -hmm. right next to whatever I'm doing. Because if a thought pops out, I notate it, and then I go back to staying focused. Yeah. So, um, you know, we all live. It's all about navigating life. If you want someone to be your passion, you're going to have to prioritize, focus, do all those things um, to just get good. That's it. Yeah. That's it. So hopefully this time management, we again, we interjected it, it's the fall, we know kids are back in school, a lot of people have had some major time shifts. You might be feeling a little bit uncertain about, oh, I don't know if I, 
Okay, mm -hmm. I'm interrupting my thought, but let me ask you this. I've heard this a lot of times. I've had a lot of people I know quit sewing because they're like, oh, I just don't have the time or, you know, I can't make it happen. And I think for a lot of them, it is that they just lack these essential things we discussed. Because they, they do. You know why? Because everybody's got time. I'm okay. sorry. you got time. Just now, if you isolate yourself from the world, you don't watch TV, you don't listen to the radio, you don't do any of those things then you don't have any time. But everybody does those things. I've heard alone, it's just like when people joke about losing weight, they say cut out sugar, and you'll find like soda, you'll find like all your weight, you know what I mean? It's those little things that really concentrate it. TV is a big one for a lot of folks. TV and nowadays Facebook, if you wrote down how many times you checked your Facebook oh. page, Ooh. If you did accumulation throughout a day, some of you guys are on there three and four hours. I'm telling you. So I'm telling you. for me, I had to try to like trick myself. I'm like, okay, at mm -hmm. 8 o'clock, I'm going to have a five-minute check at mm -hmm. noon. Mm -hmm. And you have to set a timer at my busiest time because it's easy to get mm -hmm. sucked in. Oh, yeah. So you have oh, to be yeah. aware of that oh, kind of internet. stuff. Internet. Because, and then you have people that are always, oh. let me see what I got. It. Who's calling, who's texting, who's Facebooking you? You take time to do all this yes. stuff. Is it really that important? Okay. Long distance and out of town calls that they say it's an emergency. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not heartless. Yeah, that's different. But if I get a text from some of my family in the Maryland area or DC, California, wherever it is, and they want to now take my time up to tell me what there's nothing I can do. Now, if it's around the corner, why well, I, I can jump in my car and get there to help you through a situation, that's something different. Yeah. I just, let me get back with you. Yeah. But like, give me a few hours, I'm just <laughs> wrapping it up with a client, <laughs> I'll give you a call back. And usually yeah. my calls are in the evening. So anyway, we're just telling you, encouraging you, yes, you do have the time. If sewing wants to you be, really if do. you want it to be your you focus, really you have to prioritize. Mm -hmm. If you want to get good, mm -hmm. you have to streamline your processes, you have mm -hmm. to limit interruptions, plan ahead, and right. sew at your best time. But you can do it. We believe in you. It's you, all you really time can. management. Really so go for sew on, implement some of these strategies if you haven't, and we wish you the best. We do. And once again, Gentleman Jim the Taylor. Victoria Baylor. We're signing off. Love you guys. Use your gift to bless the world. God bless you. <laughs> Bye.